Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbit Tree Center and today I just wanted to go over a few tips to help you keep your rabbits comfortable outside. Uh, you know, we, we have other videos on kindling totes and hooking up your computer fans and, and those videos even will tell you what uh, panels you need, the, the math and everything in order to, to buy and know how much you need. But, um, you know, just a few things that we're running into. Like right now with the humidity, this time of year, the totes, make sure that you have the cross ventilation. Also, we're gonna talk about rabbit uh, manure and cecotropes and what's that all about, them eating their own poop and everything, we're gonna go over that. Also, our cage setup where our trays sit the way they do on those two by fours, it's important, make sure you're drilling holes through those two by fours because if it holds water, you'll get green uh, algae and it'll it'll get on the bowl and you'll, you'll continuously have to wipe this out and clean out these bowls and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So and that's and you can fix that by simply drilling a hole, a pilot hole through those two by fours, and that'll make sure the water stays out. It'll dry up and you won't have that problem anymore. You know, summertime's just so rough on the rabbits, and, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out our kindling tote videos and, and how to keep your rabbits comfortable in the summertime. I'll put a link up to watch that. You know, we use kindling totes, and we can breed right through the summertime and keep our rabbits comfortable. And we don't have any problems, we don't have a lot of losses. Uh, I really recommend the bottles in the summertime. If you can have somebody that can help you out at the house or even add it to the kids' chores, uh, what, a, what a great addition to keeping your rabbits comfortable in that system. You know, swapping out one liter bottles. We use, we always have a lot to swap out and keep our rabbits. You know, sometimes it's aggravating because the rabbits will be on one side of the cage and the frozen bottle will be in front of the, the computer fan and it's just like cold air blowing right on them. It's just like redneck air conditioning, we call it. You know, you have to remove the fur. I mean, these get really furry and you're gonna pull all that fur off and it's gonna work a lot better. Also, be prepared to pull strings or blades of hay. Sometimes hay, as you're feeding them, hay will get pushed over near the fan and it will wind right up. And if it sits there and it's whistling, it, it won't take long for it to be blown out. That's maybe another reason to pull it away from the cage and wrap a spacer twig to bring it away, to keep the hay away. So also, you know, it could be the solar charger. Be sure to be using that so you're not blowing these fans out and overloading them. You know, every few weeks we'll we'll buy a couple more and eventually you'll you'll have so many sitting around that maybe some of them chew them up. When you're hooking these fans up, remember to remember to tie on your branches to make sure they don't have access to your fans. Because they'll chew through those wires. I mean, you can't blame them, they're chewers. You know, we've been getting some calls on wanting to do another video on the solar panels and the fans, and I'm just gonna try to do a review to try to clarify some things. And, you know, a lot of people left their batteries out over the winter time. You wanna bring those in at night. I'm sorry, you wanna bring those in during the winter time. And uh, you can kind of bring them back from the dead, just put them on a trickle charger. It's just a low wattage. Leave it on for maybe even a week or so, and it kind of brings them back, and then they can start charging again. You know, worst case scenario, you can replace the battery. You know, in the meantime, you can actually take the wire that feeds the solar charger and hook it right up to that terminal kit, those terminal blocks that send out power to all the fans. I just, I don't recommend that doing that if you have 20 watt panel and you're only feeding one fan at 0.25 amps. Be sure to watch the video in the corner there if you want a review on how we hooked them all up and how we ran everything. And that video will help you calculate what you need uh, to run what fans. It's really necessary to not send an overloaded amount of power to your devices, like the fans or whatever you were, say a light or whatever you're running. Um, because the, with the solar charge controller, it's only a $10 investment. It's just a really important device that will make sure that doesn't happen. So it's kind of like a, an insurance policy. And down in the description, I'll leave uh, a link for you can get two fans for around 15 bucks or 0.25 amps. That, that's strong enough where it'll blow enough wind so the rabbits can actually feel it. You know, some of those 0.17s and um, you know, anything lower than 0.25 is just gonna be so weak that it's, it's kind of useless even having it hooked up. You wanna make sure it's at least 0.25 or 0.3 even better. So, but you're gonna spend a little bit more uh, the stronger fan that you buy. Here's our solar panels. I actually have to 
string trim around these because the, the grass is getting over and blocking them. You know, you just want to run a couple fans. Just nice and simple. Get yourself a 10 watt solar panel. And even if you were to get, say, 0.3 amp computer fans, which is a nice, strong fan, and you're using a 12 volt deep cell battery, there's, you're gonna do that math problem. Volts times amps equals watts. Watts is the solar panel that we need to run this stuff, the battery and the, and the fans. So a 0.3 amp fan times 0.12 volts, so 12 times 0.3 would be 3.6 watts. Two of those, two, say two fans, that's gonna be 7.2 watts. Double that, and you could run a battery, you could charge the battery, and you could run the fan. But anything left over, get yourself a $10 solar charge controller. I'll link all this stuff in the description. We're an Amazon affiliate, so if you click that, we actually get credit and you helped our channel. We're gonna make more videos with that, with those funds, but it doesn't cost anything extra. Amazon pays that. Thank you for that, everybody that does that. You know, a lot of people direct wire this stuff. They don't get the solar charge controller. They just, because you can run, a solar panel run it right to the fans and hook it up it's that simple you could but that's how you burn out the fan if you don't have the right like it, you probably would be fine with two fans and a 10 watt panel and you, you would probably be able to run those fans until the clouds come out or it goes dark but I would recommend doubling the power, so get a 15 watt solar panel, get a 12 volt deep cell battery, get yourself a $10 solar charge controller and you're, you're ready, you know, and, and watch that other video and see how we interrupt the positive so you can shut them off at night to conserve your power. The negative just goes right to the solar charge controller, but. Time to time we've had some questions on rabbit poop and um, you know, the different kinds and, and um, you know, bloody stool and all that stuff. Bloody stool is a, a big red flag and, you know, that could be anything from um, just a bad diet to coccidia to, you know, other illnesses. You want to make sure that um, you, you cut back on the greens and the, the treats, stick to pellet, stick to hay. There's two different kinds of rabbit manure that they make and some people have asked questions about, you know, well, if rabbits need to do that, then why? how could cage floors be healthy well that's because rabbits will eat right from the rectum which is um, you know that's how they can still get the cecotropes when they're in cages but and so what is cecotropes a rabbit a rabbit feces that are packed with proteins and vitamins and uh, they can actually eat it to stay healthy and, and with pellet and a healthy diet and that it's pretty gross but that's just the way it goes and you know a lot of people freak out when their dogs doing that and um, they're probably just trying to do the same thing but uh, you know that's a lot of people don't allow it and what does it look like well it looks like just regular manure but maybe clumped together maybe a little bit shinier you can easily google cecotropes I'll try to find a picture and put it up in the corner um, you know it looks like manure but maybe a little bit more shinier uh, softer if it's ever too soft or you're seeing a lot of diarrhea uh, be sure to cut back on the greens anytime you feed your rabbit green it should it shouldn't be like an everyday thing everything will be linked down in the description you'll have that little triangle in the corner if you're using a cell phone and all that information will be right there thank you to everybody that uses those links really enjoy making these videos thank you everybody who's watching and you know be sure to, to let us know what your questions are, if there's a video you would like us to make. You know, coming up we're gonna make a video on our favorite five meat rabbits. You know, if you were gonna pick, if you had access to start your rabbitry, what kind of rabbits are gonna be a terrific addition to your rabbitry, we wanted to talk about five, and we may even have some honorable mentions in there, but if you wanna see that video, be sure to let us know down in the comments. We're coming up on hitting 20,000 subscribers. It's probably gonna be a couple more months, but we put down in the community section um, five songs. I'm gonna play five songs. If, if you haven't heard me play, um, we did back on the harvesting tool video, I played five songs because we hit 10,000. Uh, check on the community section. Be sure to click, uh, there's a survey on there, which songs you wanna hear and I'll be sure to play the highest voted songs first. And then I'll be sure to do the five songs at the end of the video. Put the rabbit, put the good rabbit content out front and then do the five songs. So thank you everybody for being involved in that. Everybody that cast their vote for which songs they wanna hear. Really appreciate that, uh, being involved in that. 
all the links for all those uh, computer fans and products and batteries and stuff will be down in the description. Um, some really good deals on that. There's no extra cost if you guys click on that stuff and you're helping the channel at the same time. Really appreciate that. Thank you to everybody that does that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.